Let me say a couple things here right out of the gate. Number one, something is wrong with the United States of America when an 18-year-old kid on his birthday goes out there and buys two assault weapons, rifles. In May, this kid, 18 years old, can't have a drink in Texas. Would you allow your kid, if he came home at 18, hey, Ma, look what I got for my birthday, I bought two assault rifles. You'd freaking, you'd, you'd go crazy. He didn't have that parental supervision. Nobody checked. Nobody did anything. So Kerr's 1,000% right. Secondly, all the folks who make a big deal, this is about mental illness. Well, how come this, this doesn't happen in Britain? I was in Ireland. No, but no, uh, what, there's no mental illness in Ireland? France, Spain, Germany, Italy. You don't see this happening in those countries because the gun availability is not there. You are not a 15-year-old kid at a boarding school in Britain who can walk into a gun shop and buy three 30 magazines and five assault weapons. You can in the United States. And although Biden, the president, he says all he wants, do something, Obama did after Sandy Hook. He did everything he could. Nobody followed suit. And although I try to play it right down the middle, I vote both Republican and Democrat. I vote for the best man all the time. I vote, for, I, in the history of my, since 1980, vote for the best man. Bottom line is, in this particular situation, Kerr's right. It's about the Republicans in that Senate who are, who are wrapped up with the NRA and all the gun lobbyists and everything else who are afraid. There's 310 million guns in America for 300 million people who are afraid that if they get tough here, that somehow they're going to get knocked out of office because their states love guns, love guns. Do you think the, everybody brings up the Second Amendment. What do you think George Washington, Sam Adams, Jefferson, Adam, uh, Ben Franklin, what do you think they're thinking about right now? You think they thought this? There was no police, there was no state militia back in 1780 when they did the state Second Amendment. And you, it's not the same thing. This is totally different today. I mean, it's ridiculous. You're going to bring up the Second Amendment, well, I have my right to have guns, and you're going to bring up something that was passed in 1780 and say that applies to today? That is absolutely absurd. And the other thing, Abbott, the governor, and again, I play it right down the middle, Cruz, that senator, and how about the representative of that community that were in, in West San Antonio and West, West Texas? They all voted no on gun control deals in March. They voted no on it. And then Adam yesterday gives me this big deal about how we're heartbroken. Well, you had a chance to do something about it. You did nothing. And where are they going on Friday, half of them? To an NAR convention in Houston, Texas, for crying out loud. Houston, Texas. It's absolutely absurd. America, shape up, wake up, and do something. I don't care what it is. And yes, there are a million reasons why we have all these 18-year-old kids who feel disconnected and feel like they got to go out there and blow up a supermarket, a school, a movie theater in Colorado with armor on. They're disconnected. But I can't look at every computer. I can't look at every social media post. I can't look at every Instagram thing to see what these kids are thinking about. But what I can do, I can limit their ability to obtain weapons. That I can do. And I understand the gun companies in this country don't want that because they make a ton of money when they sell these assault weapons. So that company that stored Dick Sporting Goods, wherever it was, in Texas, when they sold those two assault weapons to this kid a couple of weeks ago, you think they care? No, they don't. They don't care. They, can care. they say they care, but they don't because they do nothing about it. And this is, listen, I live 20 minutes from Sandy Hook. I was there five days later. That is an absolute disgrace that in nine years we have done nothing. Kerr's right. I got issues with Kerr with other issues. His China thing and everything, I could go on and on. But here he's 100% right. It is a, this does not happen in Europe, Japan, China. It does not have Israel. Name the country. It happens here. The United States of America. Because you politicians, in this case, most of them Republicans, and the president, go out there and do something. Let's go. It can't be that hard. You know, the other thing that I want to say last yeah. thing, Washington no. Post had a great point today. One last thing. No, go ahead. You're you know who's going to get this solved? You actually need a Republican president. Because we're so politicized in this country that the Republicans do not want to agree anything to what a Democratic president says. So if you have a Republican president who, who is going to get that vote on the right, he does something, you can, get, you can start to make a little movement here. 
And we almost did with the last president after Parkland, but he got sidetracked. What else is new? And he didn't do it. He got sidetracked. But this is, this is getting to be much. We're starting off a sports show on this great network, and we're talking about, we're talking about a kid who got slaughtered, 18 people, and we're going to move on our very way now, and we're going to show up at that gun lobby thing in Houston on Friday. You should be all ashamed of yourselves. All the shame. And I vote right down the middle. Don't call me some leftist nutcase. I go both ways. Sorry. Don't be sorry. That, that was so Don't be so, sorry. So, Don't be so sorry. Well said. Um, these children deserve their lives. They deserve to follow their dreams. And you're right. 212 shootings, 27 in, in, in schools. And again, these places should be sanctuaries. Everything you said w right. was so spot on. And honestly, Stephen, I, and I know you guys are grown men. It's, it's unnerving. You almost feel scared to go anywhere at this point. Basic places. Yeah, you do. You, 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 you do. You do I'll, say, I'll say this. You, you do, but you have to. You have to, you, you have to move forward. You don't move on. You move forward. But in the end, I brought up the election for a reason. Guess what? If people are not going to get, whether you're Democrat or Republican, if you're not going to get things done to put Ameri to prioritize the safety of this nation, you need to go. The fact is, you got an election coming up November 8th. Get all their, get all their behinds up out of there. All of them, if you have to, you can change. You can you can change some of this. The fact that they're not getting anything done is the most egregious part of it all. All to maintain their seats in power. Steve Kerr is absolutely positively on the money for that. They're not thinking about the American people yep. on Capitol Hill. They're thinking about themselves. So we yep. need to get people up there that's going to think about American citizens and, and not power their becomes seats more on, important on, than on the, in the nation's capital. Yeah.